Hello everybody and welcome to Neko Master Plays Laura Croft Go. And this game doesn't seem to be widely uh, known yet, but um, it's made my one of my all-time favorite publishers, uh, Square Enix. And Square Enix has made one of my favorite games of all times, minus other uh, minus other numerous amazing ones. But Kingdom Hearts is one of my all-time favorite games. And I love Square Enix for that, but they've made tons of great other games, you know, DS games, um, other PlayStation games I really enjoy. I won't get into that, but... So this is made by them, and it's a puzzle game. Um, it's a turn-based puzzle game where you're going through a dungeon, and you want to make it through the puzzle using or on a turn-by-turn -turn basis with other obstacles. And um, I know I just started this, so you may not all know this, but I am actually a genius, I would say. No, just kidding. That's a real... Real humble of me, but I am, I would like to say, very good at puzzle games, and so I want to show off some of my talents while also showing off the beauty of this game. So let's get into this. One thing you can obviously notice, they put a lot of great detail and effort into this beautiful artwork, and this just visual feel of entering the tunnel like that. It's, uh, it's real pretty. They put a lot of effort into it. It looks super nice. And I really enjoy it. So how we move is I have my mouse on the screen right now just to show you what I'm doing. But basically, um, basically I'm um, I'm clicking and dragging to move her. So see, I drag where I want her to move. There's no other way to play it, I think. Um, but for now, that's how we do it. You just keep dragging and you keep moving. So you drag, drag, and so, oh, so I should mention, um, I streamed this last week, well, my game's frozen, I should mention, my, I streamed this last week, and I played this for about an hour, and I got through a little of it, so this first play, this first, uh, episode or two will just be me catching up. I know you'll be like, oh, you're not a genius, you've done the puzzles before, but, um, oh, wow, it even shows when something's loading, that's real bad, but, um, I know I've done the puzzles before, but you'll see me do new ones eventually, and I'll explain the game so you can get, uh, you can see if you would purchase it. But so these things are clickables, and they basically just give you a fragment, and they're later, they get super hidden, so you can't even see them. But, you know, if we collect all these, you see it says something out of quartz found. We basically get an unlockable costume or something else at that, which is, you know, fun. It's always a fun thing to do. And so we haven't got there yet, but so this is the first uh, little detail. The game does all the basics of explaining how puzzles are added in, but we literally just click on this and something will change. Simple uh, mechanic. So let's keep collecting these as we move in. So there we go. So again, we just start working in mechanics. The colors usually match if you see this, so this yellow one interacts with yellow platforms. This gray one, as you will see, interacts with just a normal gray platform. We'll keep moving on. And here's my friend. So you can see him there a little. They do, oh, and he peeks down there a little. Oh jeez, oh jeez, he's coming. They do a really nice job of making you feel scared at the very beginning of the game. Because uh, I know you all saw that giant, the giant freaking beast right there. But yeah, alright, so we're gonna keep collecting these. See, they get a little more obscure. Up here. Um, so we're gonna keep going. So this, they introduce this real fast. So there's right and there's left. You'd say, why do I go this dead end? So we're gonna step on this and you see it cracks. We wanna go left, because if we step on it again, I'll show you just for the sake. You fall down, and you have to restart at the last checkpoint. So that's pretty basic. These get used in a variety of ways later, which is really exciting. And now there's one on wall. So I know you're going to say, well, we fall forward through the wall. And you see that shifts that, but no, we we'll just drop down, which you can use later for great, um, great purposes. So this one, we just want to use that one on the way over. And then this one on the way back, so neither kills us. This one would have dropped us into a pit. But yeah, we keep moving on. So these puzzles are a bit pretty basic. 
nothing too difficult. It does start to get hard as you get into the second world about. Ooh, see, they try to hide this. You see down here, if you, you can't see it now, you can see it now, you can't see it now. They try to get a little tricky with them. The first time I played through this, I actually didn't even notice them until the second world. So, I didn't even get these. So, we can all find out what this item is. Oh, I see you. Nice. So now we'll see what we get for this. Find gems in all chapters to unlock a special outfit. Oh, it did tell me. Alright, that was wrong. So we're gonna restart. So yeah, if you mess a puzzle up sometimes like I did. Oh yeah, I know I'm not as uh, smart as I said I was. Oh, we're back to this already? Oh, I just missed that. My bad. We got three of four. Good thing I died then. Alright, what do I want to do? So we want to do that. And then I guess... I want to do this. And it should move that platform over. So then it's okay to fall? Oh, I see, I see. And we want to move that up so we can get back in. Alright, not bad. I'm keeping my eyes on Oh, it's my buddy. So you see, they do that so beautifully, where they have the snake come from the outside like that. It's amazingly done. How they uh, use the foreground to kind of convey other uh, parts of the setting. And I missed it. I missed a crystal skull. I'm real displeased with myself. I was trying so hard right there. You might not have known it, but I was trying very hard with myself to find all those. <sighs> but yeah, I definitely like puzzle games. So if anyone in the comments below, what is this? No. Knows of a fun puzzle game they'd like to see someone complete. They'd like to see someone up to the challenge. I love puzzle games. They're my favorite. The only one I haven't beaten yet. So yeah, now we go on the emeralds. See, look how they have this bug up here. It's so creepy. But it's perfectly nice. Nice art. So, um... The only one I haven't uh, finished is, I think, it's called The Witness. But, uh, okay. So now we start adding more elements. So here's the snake. So obviously the snake's facing away. So right now, we can shoot him and kill him. This one's still not facing us, so we can jump over it. We get a nice little cool action scene, a little badass Tomb Raider action going on. And then this one's watching us, so I'll show you what happens just for that. He bites you, you go down. Pretty simple, right? So we don't want to go in front of a snake who's looking at us. So we come back through here. We obviously go this way. Click on this. I'm so mad I missed the skull. Kill him for fun, because we're evil. Obviously, this one's not looking at us. I'm totally gonna miss more. Again, if you're if you're pissed because I'm missing obvious gold cases, I'm so sorry. So now we come up here, and we got ourselves a little puzzle. So this one actually took me a few tries to solve. Yeah, so I was looking for gold pieces. But this puzzle's a little tricky. We come on up, and those all will kill each other if you kill any. This one's safe to kill. These two are now safe to kill. This one we can also kill. And now we want to shift this. And when we shift this, we can kill this one guy. But now those two are still looking at each other, so we want to shift it back. And now this one's free to kill. Oh, I see you. Nice. Oh, and now it's the twin snake. That one's pretty cool. And so that's all we have to do. Now it's just puzzle of kill the right snakes in the right order. Pretty nice, right? We get more gems. So right now, oh, and we can jump across easy. Right now, this game is only $8. It's on sale right now. And $8 is a little much for just a simple puzzle game, because I know a lot of these games can be bought. You can buy similar games on the iPhone. 
for like two to three dollars at most. So asking eight, I think on normal price it's twelve, is a little much, but I thoroughly enjoy it. And I will probably play it all the way through, maybe on the channel. If people watch it, I will probably play it through all the way on the channel, because I'm going to play it through in my free time anyway. So let me just move this one. It's order of, it's just an order of moving these. We can't kill that guy yet, so we have to move this back. And now we can come in and move the green one. I like how we're playing like hopscotch. And we're good, we're moving on. So this was the first area is not bad. Oh, except for this motherfucker. Chasing me down. Ooh, it looks a little bad on my... It looks a little bad on recording. It's very pretty. I'm going to turn the setting down a little. Eh, I'll do it after this video. So we're moving through now. So this spike moves every turn. And then, so see, we get here, and it will kill me next turn. And it moves after me. So you have to be very careful. And nice. And now there will be another... Oh no, so now we want to go down here. What happens if we... Oh, so now the spike kills the snake for us. And it moves after us, so we can't go on it while it's not moved yet. So it's... There's rules you gotta learn to. The blade moves after you do, so even if it's in a place and you're moving to it, expecting it to be gone, like right here, if I wanted to move up, yeah, the spike's gonna move up, but after I move, so it would kill me still. So we just move like that, we see a little jewel here, give me that twin snake, we see a second little jewel here, we're moving on, I can't go that way because it will kill me, literally. We go this way, we dodge it, I see that. It would suck if clicking one of those wastes a turn. Oh, I wasn't thinking. I was talking about nonsense about clicking things. Let me grab a little drink. We're gonna come on up, move over. Alright, simple enough, right? We're just hopping on through. Oh yeah, we gotta do this one. Yeah, what I was saying would be bad if we clicking one of those gold bases takes a turn. And oh, we gotta go down here. My bad. So this is easy enough. Does moving this take a turn? No, it does not. So we can just come back up. And look at that. We made it. And it's good. Enough. So obviously they do a nice job of showing in the distance. They just use their visual distances very well. And I think it's a very pretty game. I uh they put a lot of nice work into it. And I very much like it. I mean, it's very nice to look at while you're doing fun puzzles. Oh, she hasn't even done my favorite move yet. Hold up. She'll do my favorite move right now, I believe. Oh no, she didn't do it there. I forgot. She does this really nice move, and uh, I think you all like it. I think I want to go like that. Sick. That was easy. So, oh no, 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 I can't click it! It's right there! You all see it? Oh. I couldn't click it. I think I did that the first time, too. Which is sad. Oh well. So yeah, you can come back in, and only the ones you missed are left. So this one, we learned a new mechanic already. I'm gonna click that while I see it. And we get the sphere. Sphere? Spear. And the spear, so he's two away, but we're in a linear path with him, see so we're in a straight line, so we can throw it at him. And this one, we can come around and sneak up on him. I like how we're just shooting snakes in the head. It's not even like politely pushing them aside or knocking them unconscious. It's literally shoot them with your gun in the head. Jeez, animal cruel too much. So I'll do that. I'll get that at the same time. Why is that snake there? And then we want to throw this at him. And easy peasy. So here's another one. So if we kill him, we can't get in there. If we kill him, we can't get in there. So what we want to do is kill this guy. And then 
then it's easy. Boom, boom, kill him just because I feel like it. Yeah, yeah, well, a necromaster, you're a mass murderer. Why? Well, well, not a mass murderer. It's not, it's not that many snakes. I died. I, uh, I blindly ran into it and died. That's okay. Boom. Mm, so what we want to kill is this guy, because now we can kill him, and then consequently those two, and we move on our merry day. Yeah! So yeah, so these are levels two. As you can see, we're moving through them quite quick. These beginning puzzles really aren't that bad. This one is kind of try to get on again. This one's a little tricky. What we basically have to do is move this over twice. So we have to do that, we have to do that. And then now we have it back on, and now we can move it one more. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I did not think. So I actually need it to move back over so I can get that spear. Spear! Spear, I swear I speak English, it's my native language, I swear. Now we can kill Snake Man. It is running crap on OBS, I am so sorry. I will fix that after this video. I see you. And boom. Alright, back we go. And this is where I start to get scared and really tense and I run for my life. Oh, I see you. Oh, I clicked out. This is where it is, right there. And then I run for my- I've missed one before. I can- I run for, oh jeez. Okay buddy, I'm sorry I'm in your lair. Please don't kill me. I'm so sorry. Please don't kill me. I'm a nice guy. Ooh, so now another common enemy that I kinda like. So I'm not gonna show you here, cause I wanna just like, kill this guy and move on. Gotcha. So this guy, if I'm in front of him, two spaces, he sees me, and then from then on, he just follows me. And you see, so these fall after two presses on them. So if I move again, they go fall on. And that's how we deal with uh, these guys. Now this is one of my favorite parts. So we come here. He's like, I see you. Move this way, and we come up here. When we get up here, he'll follow us, of course, so he can climb. He'll follow us, and boop, he falls. And now, now he's just confused. The poor guy's confused. And then I shoot him and that. What a poor guy. And we want to do our usual spear in his heart. We just ripped out a man's heart. I feel so bad. And there you go, two-thirds down. So we're making good progress. We met two new uh, enemies. So as you can see, they, they start introducing a few gimmicks regularly. It's a good game. Um, yeah, let's keep moving now. So this guy... I want to deal with this guy somehow. So he's going to see me, and if I come down... I raise this platform, because now he'll be the perfect amount of spaces or I can just say goodbye. <laughs> I don't know where he goes, but he doesn't come back. That's for sure, he does not come back. Boom. I only need two more, actually, but I missed that one. So I don't think I'll get it. So we got our spear. What does this do? I think I, he chases me down here. I forget what I'm supposed to do. I think I just killed my rat? Oh! That worked. I don't remember that being how I did it last time. But nice. We killed him. And now we're on our way out. Oh jeez! I forgot that. Happened. Oh! So this snake, by the way, oh no, look at this badass move. And then I fall. 
This snake is the coolest snake I've one of the coolest snakes I've ever seen. I like his tiny he looks like a dragon snake. Which I deeply admire. Okay, but enough about my fascination with the boss of this this game. So we're gonna keep moving. This guy sees me. So I couldn't kill that guy, but I can kill this guy. And now if I go this way, if I go straight, I'll be killed because he'll trap me here. If I go this way though, he'll just follow me around the, the way. Now we can make our way down. What I want is to do that. Wait a sec. I don't remember if I did this right. Um, I think I did this right. I don't know if that's what I planned, but that's what happened. Noise! So I'm either missing the snake. Oh, jeez. Alright. So I wanna go like this. I wanna go like this. I wanna go like that. Alright, I remember how to do this. So you come down here. And you're like, hey, dude, follow me! And then you go, whoop, whoop! And then you just run away. Game over. Nice. I love that music. It's soothing. Still rewarding for the accomplishment we just made. Look at that, we made it. Where's my, where's my snake friend? And here you go, we made it to the first. We made it through the first dungeon room. And so, yeah, the key of stones will bring it back now. Magically, somehow in that long cave, we got to a tunnel that magically teleports us back to the front. Don't ask, don't ask questions. <laughs> but yeah, so this was Lorecraft Go. Lorecraft Go. Um, I'm definitely going to finish it, and I probably will record it. So especially if you guys like it, I will put the rest on YouTube. But I'm definitely going to keep recording it, so hit a like button below if you enjoyed it. I'm going to try to fix up this... Uh, horrible resolution, but uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!